Hi guys, so I'm gonna attempt to make a paper flowers. I've been watching some YouTube videos and I think I kinda know how to do it now. So I'm gonna do a test trial first. I don't I don't think I have all the supplies, but I have stuff in the house that I can use to substitute it. So I'm just cutting out a circle right now for the base of it. In the video that I watched, the lady, she used a um, cake, paper, cake board, whatever they put cake on, and it was round, but I don't feel like going out to buy one of those right now, so I cut a piece of cardboard from a box that I have here. And I'm just gonna make my own circle. So I'm just trying to get a round shape. I'm gonna try to get it as round as I can. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be round, you know. Okay. I think this should be all right kind of big let me cut it down some more because I don't think the one that she used was this big uh, okay. I'm just trying to get a somewhat perfect circle Should be good. Let me, this is my somewhat circus. So I'm gonna just put it over there right now. She put like a little hook on it or whatever, but I'm not gonna do that since this is just a test trial and I don't even know if it's gonna come out looking okay. I'm not even gonna do all that. So I'm just gonna use it as a base. So these are the templates that I printed from the website. They were free, thank God. So I'm gonna um, put them together. So this is like a really big piece. And I saw that she like put it together like so. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tape it. Obviously, you have to tape it together because we don't have papers this big. So that's why she made the template like that. Because, you know. So, yeah. So, this is the one. And then you have the medium size and the smaller sizes. And this is the thing that you put in the middle. So, you can do this in the middle or like a little rose. I will show you guys an example in the video. But I think I'm gonna upload this to my um, design space and use my Cricut machine to cut it out because that is a lot. That's what you got the Cricut machine for, to do stuff like that. So let me cut out all of these.
y'all so these are all the templates so i have four different sizes this is a really big one then a large one medium size and then a really small one and now i'm gonna cut them out on my car stock i had these car stocks they were supposed to be my thank you cards but i ended up using white instead so i have these um, obviously the flowers is gonna be pink now and it looked like we had a problem because this car stock is really small and i don't think it can fit hmm. i don't think this can fit mm. Mm -hmm. so what if i just make a smaller flowers using these sizes that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a really small size i'm not gonna use the the bigger template so i'm gonna cut out a couple of them at once so i don't to save myself less to give myself less work i'm just gonna um, trace it out and then cut it cut out more than one so to save myself the work I'm gonna cut out more than one at a time. So I'm gonna chase it out on this paper and then cut them out. I don't know how many pieces I need. Maybe I should go back on the video and watch it. But...
Okay, so um, I cut out only 12 of the smaller petals. I have eight of these, as I said earlier, and also eight of these. And then I'm gonna go get the little rolling thing so I could roll the edges. I'll show you guys. And then we're gonna see how it turns out. Okay, so for the next step, I'm gonna do three at a time. Just to be careful. This is two. Okay, so for this step, I have to make it look like a petal. And I have this little rolling pill. I have this little rolling thing or pin, you want to call it, that I bought a couple months ago. It's I bought it to roll out fondants because I was playing with fondants. Fondants. Okay, so you take the edge. This is not a tutorial, guys. This is me learning how to do it. So you roll it. And it's cardstock paper, so it will stay. So you roll it as much time just to make sure it stays. You just can use your hand too. But you use a rolling pin so that the paper don't get creases or cracks. Side. I think I'm doing the right thing. I think. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these and then get back to you guys when I'm finished. Okay, so I've done the two um, sizes and then this, these ones I'm gonna leave flat because the middle is gonna be flat for me to put this thing in the middle. And as I said earlier, I'm gonna cut these out on white um, cardstock paper in my Cricut machine. Then I'm gonna put it in the middle. I'll show you guys. So now I'm gonna heat up my glue gun and then I'll be back. Yeah, so I went ahead and got my glue gun. I'm gonna allow it to heat up a little bit while I um, while I do the rest of these. <laughs> a lot of glue stuff. Let me get some of this stuff out the way. Alright, since I'm not doing the larger petal anymore, I'm gonna make my circle a little smaller. Maybe that'll give me, allow me to get a somewhat perfect circle. So 
see. I don't know what type of cardstock paper she used. If she could get that large pail, but I'm going to find out. And I'm going to get some. And do this over. So let me just make this a little bit smaller. be huge because I don't even think I'm going to use it. I just want to know if I can make it for the future and then I can start adding it as a service that I offer when I'm doing backdrops and stuff because these look really nice on um, grass walls and that's my goal to start adding more than just balloons. for my circle y'all this is the best I could do so as I said I'm gonna leave these flat because they're for the middle and I'm gonna start with the larger pieces okay so the next step that I saw the person do was they get their petal and they make like a half inch cut right there and because it's a petal, it's going like this, you need it to face out. So you get to overlap it. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna gotta cut it some more so I could overlap it like so. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 there we go. You overlap it like that so it could stand up like so. <laughs> okay okay i mean i get too excited and jinx myself but you don't want it to stand all the way upright because flowers are not like that if you know flowers they like flap down a little bit so i'm not gonna let it stand up all the way i'm gonna put it like right there that was cute so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these like cut them and i'm gonna use my glue gun to kind of like Hold it into place. To hold my flowers into place. I'm not really putting it on the cardboard as yet. So I do it like that. There it looks. Right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of them. And then I'll get that to you. all of my petals I'm gonna go ahead and put them onto my cardboard and because I wanted to have a clean look I'm gonna be putting them on this side so that this side is the side that shows when I'm hanging it or whatever the petals will hide this 
the side. So I'm gonna use the larger petals first and I'm gonna be putting them on the outskirt of the cardboard like so. And then I'm gonna go from there. I'm going to put them on the four sides first and then I'm going to fill in the empty spaces after that. Probably going to be harder than this, but it's not that bad at all. It's not that bad. I mean, if you have patience and if you're an artist, then you have to have a lot of patience. This is how it looks with all the big petals first. Then I'm gonna take the medium, the medium sized petals and like fill in all of those spaces. Okay guys, so this is how it looks so far with only the um, large petals and the middle size petals. I don't know, I feel like I should have done a little more of these, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna follow the edge of some of these so I can fill them in. And then I'll go from there. And then I probably have to cut out some more of these too. So let's see, I'm gonna put this aside and then work on these.
pieces and I'm gonna add them to the flowers then. Then I'm gonna use, cut out the other piece in the Cricut machine and do it. So, they're gonna look like this. I don't know if you can, you guys can see the vision already. Like I said, guys, this is my first time doing it, so if it's not coming out right, don't talk crap about me because I've never done it before. You can let them overlap a little bit just to give it that natural look. It looks so good already. I can't believe I did this. I'm really a whole artist out here, y'all. Like, a whole artist. I can't paint and I can't draw. But when it comes to this art and craft thing, I got it in the bag, you feel me? I really do that in the bag. I have like two more pieces. I don't know if I should add it because the middle looks already filled already. And I really have to add something there. But I don't know. I might. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna add it. It won't look that bad. It won't look too crowded. It's a flower for that seat. But it looks so good. Like, look at that. Look at this. It looks so cute already. Alright, I'm gonna go get my Cricut machine and then we're going to cut out our middle piece. Okay. Alright, y'all. So I have the Cricut machine right here. Let me hook it up to my computer. paper to it up here or this way I think this way is better okay <laughs> the way. be forgetting Okay, uh, so I'm going to upload the file onto my design space. Then <clears throat> cut it out on the machine. So I just uploaded it. I don't even know how big I want it. 
say? Eight, no, six, six by six. Okay, this is, right, I'm gonna do a six by six. That should be big enough for the flowers. So this is a really thin it's like the light cardstock so when I'm actually doing it for an event then I'll use the, the thicker cardstock so it looks better but this will work now since I'm just practicing you know I'm just practicing lift it off carefully so I don't get any rips okay there we go. I feel like it's too small for the flowers, but now I know better. Okay, right, so this is the flowers. And then this is what I gotta put in there. Like so. Mm. Now I wanna do it bigger. Cause I don't like how small this is, you see? It is too small. I want the I want the middle of it to like cover the whole thing right there and like force it in there. So I'm going to do it over. Fine. I'm going to do it over. Let's try that again. Try this again. Kind of like cut it off right there a little bit. As I said, this type of project need a bigger car stock. There's a car stock that's as big as this mat. I gotta find out where I can buy it. Then I will try this project again. See, it's kind of cut off right there, but that's okay though, because sometimes leaves are broken, you know. <laughs> so let me get this up. Let me get the tool. <clears throat> so, get this up.
And I'm kind of going to bend it because since it's going in the middle, I need it to stand up a little bit. Like stand straight up. Okay. This pickup machine is like really nice. It's like really it. It's doing the damn thing. I really bought it to like do vinyl stickers for balloons, like custom balloons, but I'm finding out that it can do a lot more than that. So I'll be doing a lot of more, a lot of other projects. It's not, it's still not as big as I would like it, but it's gonna have to work. It's gonna have to work. Let's put this away. Okay. Alright, so here's the flowers again. And here's my middle piece. And I'm gonna put it in there. See, it don't cover it all the way like I want it to. Like it don't cover that middle piece. But it looks better than the smaller one. It looks way better. So. But it still looks cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and like paste it in. I feel like I could cover the bottom with some of the pink cardstock because my OCD is not having it right now. Like it's telling me, girl, you better cover that bottom so the cardboard um, paper don't be exposed like that because it don't look right. So I might just let me cut it out smaller. I don't know, it's just the brown cardboard being exposed is like really getting to me. So let me cover the bottom with a little glue glue stuff. Oh, it's still hot. I did not know this thing was still on. But yeah. All right, so I got a little glue on it, and I'm gonna just cover the bottom since my middle piece is not big enough. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I covered the bottom just so the um the cardboard brown brown cardboard is not like exposed and don't look too. Ratchet. Okay, so I glued the bottom of my middle piece. I don't even know what this thing is called. I'm just gonna continue calling it the middle piece. And I'm just gonna stick it in the bottom like so. Like that. You see how cute that is? The cardboard is still like being exposed, but that's okay though. That's fine. Because when I do it again, I will just use a white cardboard at the bottom so it's not like being exposed like that. Because I really don't like it. But it's fine. It's cute. There's like the pencil mark on it. See, next time I'm doing it, I will know not to use pencil. See, you're living, you learn, right? Even this. This is no problem, but it's just bothering me. Like, I can, I can live with the pencil mark on it, but I don't know. It's all in my head. Because nobody can even see that. So this is how it looks. Okay guys, so I just came outside to get some natural light and my flowers is like so freaking pretty. Like, oh my goodness, I can't get enough of it. 
it's so cute but as always y'all please subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this and if you guys followed my steps and would like the free pdf please let me know my contact information will be in the description box down below but i'll catch you guys in my next video bye